My name is Stephanie Olarte. I am the founder and director of Step Forward Strategies and a board member with the Women Project. I have to speak out as the Senate begins hearings today on the nomination of Amy Coney Barrett. This sham process has been concerning from the beginning. Within days of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's passing, Trump announced a nominee to fill her seat who is the antithesis of her legacy and is committed to pushing her through even though elections are already underway. RBG authored the majority opinion in a landmark decision that affirmed the rights of people with disabilities to live in the community. This fundamentally changed the course of the lives of hundreds of thousands of people with disabilities. Her work gave power to the promise of the Americans with Disabilities Act and she will forever be remembered as a champion of the rights of millions of people with disabilities, particularly intellectual and developmental disabilities. Today, hearings kicked off on the nomination of Amy Coney Barrett, which raises significant concerns. Barrett has written that she believes the Affordable Care Act is unconstitutional. This health care law has been vital to people with disabilities by expanding coverage, protecting those with pre-existing conditions, requiring coverage of mental health and rehabilitation services, increasing home and community-based services options, and, and much more. But it's incredibly troubling that Barrett essentially backed the Trump administration's public charge rule, which also would make it difficult for immigrants with disabilities to come to the U.S and discriminate against people with disabilities. Then there's her decision in the case finding that Wisconsin did not discriminate based on disability even though its open enrollment program required children with learning disabilities to apply for spots in other school districts separate from typically development, developing children and allowed such students to be excluded because of their service needs. So this isn't just policy disagreement. Uh, she agreed that it is okay under law for a school to refuse a spot for a child because they need support due to whatever disability that they have. So are you kidding me? This person is way out of touch with what, they country, what the country needs and is downright horrifying for people with disabilities like me who have worked incredibly hard to make gains in this country. Amy Coney Barrett should not, and I emphasize not, be given a lifetime appointment on the highest court of the land. Judge Barrett's record demonstrates a hostility to the rights that are critically important to people with disabilities. We need to make our voices heard and make it clear that this process is unacceptable and this nominee is unacceptable. No vote before inauguration, plain and simple. Join me and other disability activists across the country today who are contacting their senators to say we should not be holding hearings during an election and we should not support a nominee who would take away gains for people with disabilities and take this country backwards. Call the Capitol switchboard at 202-224-3121 for voice or 202 202- 224-3091 for TTY. They will connect you to your U.S. Senator so you can help make sure to protect our rights and protect our courts. Thank you.